name's Claire and this is Kellen. He was born at home. Um, he's 15 weeks. Um, I've also got a little boy who's 22 weeks who's also bre breastfed at home. And why did you decide to breastfeed them? Um, just because I thought it was the best thing for them. Uh, like any mother, you want to do the best for them. And if I could breastfeed, that's definitely what I wanted to do. Um, and it just feels natural doing that. Did, you, did it come easy to you or did you need any support? Um, because Cannon's my second, he was much easier than my first. My first one I ended up going into hospital um, after about five days um, because I became so engorged. Um, but they were really helpful there. They had um, the nursery nurse give me lots of support and the midwives there. Um, it was just what really got us back on the road and why I carried on breastfeeding him for um, eight months and I decided to do the same with Callan. So do you think the support that you get as a mother breastfeeding is really important when things get a bit difficult? Well, yeah, it's really important to get um, support from your family and your partner and the midwives in the trust and the health visitors in the trust are really amazing. Um, like I said, probably couldn't have done it without their support in the first place just because they really got us off you know, to a really good start with my first child. So. And that's probably what's kept me going. Hi, uh, yeah, this is Marley. My name's Liz and she's 12 weeks. Um, it was a bit of a, well, it was difficult at first when I first started because she'd lost so much weight that I had to basically express for about an hour and a half and then try and feed her for half an hour when I was in hospital. But I was in hospital for a week and I had so much support of the midwives and and the nursery nurses, they got me through it really because I think if it wasn't for them I would have given up because my nipples were just awful and the only way that I could carry on and breastfeed was by expressing and feeding her and then eventually then after about four days she latched on fine and, and some days you know she's more hungry than others and well at the beginning my nipples were they did get really bad when some days she was hungrier than others but then she sort of so it just sort of levels out, doesn't it? And and now she's she's great. Some some weeks she gains more than others. But coming to groups like this really helps because you get lots of tips from from the midwives like Angharad and all the other mums as well. So and I chose to breastfeed because it's just the best for her really, and it's much easier, especially in the middle of the night. You don't have to get up and prepare a bottle. And yet it is difficult when your partner, your husband, can't actually help you, but it's just a lovely little bond with you and your baby, and I love it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Janet, and this is my little boy, Yestin. He's nine and a half weeks old. Um, I decided to breastfeed because he'd had a few problems uh, in utero, and I wanted to give him the best start in life as I possibly could. I found it really difficult at the beginning um, and I don't think I would have continued if it wasn't for the support of, of groups um, and especially the midwives and, and the health visitors and local community. And how's it going now then? It's brilliant, he's gaining weight well, he's, he's doing really well and I just love doing it. I love feeding him. Do we? Yes. I'm Zoe and this is Frankie. He's four weeks old and he was born by Cesarean. Um, I chose to breastfeed him because, well, obviously it's be best for him, really. But with Frankie, he wouldn't latch on himself, so he's kind of expressed instead of um, just bre not a natural breastfeeding. And he has a mixture of both a bottle and a breastfeeding as well. And how do you find that works? Um, we got into a bit of a routine. It was a bit hard at first. I mean, with expressing and making sure there was enough for him, because he is a really hungry baby. And um, because, well, because he was older, we was feeding a lot more as well at first. So we had to kind of. It took us a while, but we got there. Didn't we go? Yeah. My name is Sarah, and these are my six and a half month old boys. This is Shridian, and this is Shrees. Um they were born at uh, 33 weeks in Princess of Wales um, and they were in special care for three weeks. Um, I started off, I had to um, express my breast milk so they could have it through a, a nasal tube because they were too young to, to feed off the breast. 
um, and eventually then put them to the breast um, every time I went over and they eventually started to uh, they eventually started to, to feed off me and bless you bless you <laughs> and um, I've been breastfeeding ever since really really enjoy it it's something I, I always wanted to to do as soon as I found out I was pregnant I thought it was very important for them and um, it's one of the best things I've ever done. So how difficult is it, is it breastfeeding twins? It's a doddle. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's um, like at home, like if I'm, if I'm there on my own and they're both hungry, I, you know, if, I, the more you do it, the, the better you get at it. I can put the, the two of them on either side and like a, when they were small, it used to be like a, like a rugby tackle, two, two rugby balls and now they just sort of, one lies there, one lies there, support their head on my, on my leg and off they go, they, they pretty much see to themselves, they can latch themselves on and can they laugh? Yeah, they can latch themselves on and come off, smile at me, say hello and sort of <laughs> go, oh, I think I'll be more now and <laughs> latch themselves back on, they're uh, pros now. <laughs> Hello, I'm Anne Harrod. I'm a midwife here in Cairo. Our group is run and funded by Flying Start. The idea of groups is just to support mothers who support themselves or each other. We are there for advice, but I think they get the best advice from each other. And they enjoy coming. Tea and coffee and cakes are always available. And I hope they get a lot out of it, really. And I think a group is the best way to find out information for anybody and just chat to others and enjoy it. So how would people find out where their local group is? They can get an information sheet from the breastfeeding advisor in the trust and often the midwives in the area will know what's going on. But Marley's not happy. What's the matter? Oh, you don't want to be on camera. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm not going to go down because he wriggles. <laughs>